Good evening, folks. We're going to drive right to the heart of the study on the sun's brightest rays and how they shock the scientists and explain the two things on our minds with the event. The critical point of the discovery is that the sun emits gamma rays at much higher energies than expected. No models had accounted for or predicted this level of light release from the sun, and even though it doesn't penetrate the ground level, it impacts the ionosphere at the top of the sky, making it a relevant issue for radio propagation, climate science, ozone interactions, and much more. So to put it simply, the sun shines in radio, infrared, microwave, visible light, UV, X-rays, and gamma rays, and those highest energy photons, the gamma rays, can be much brighter than they ever thought was possible. The two secondary aspects of this discovery that are worth noting are the breaking of the models and what that means, and the potential that this is a new phenomenon. First, their models have been wrong on so many things, and that's key to answering the question of what the sun is capable of doing. As they learn more, their previous models continue to change, which forces us to ask if their previous assertions that the great solar flash can't happen because their models told them so are really worth their weight. Second, it is absolutely possible that the discovery was simply not possible before the current technology, but we can't be sure. We have already seen the helium chemistry on the sun changing and the coronal magnetic fields changing, so why couldn't the high energy light emission be changing as well? This would add to the growing list of changes not only on the sun, but throughout the solar system. Either way, the bottom line is that the models have failed again, and the sun is capable of more than they thought was possible. Boy, if that's not a key concept for most observers here at this channel. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.